I feel like I've got such a lot to share with you that I don't know where to start. <laughs> so today, I'm just going to do a few videos and see where they see where they end up. I'm sitting here. Oh, it's heavenly. You'll have just seen a little bit of a clip with some plinky plunky music um, of where I'm sitting. I'm sitting in what was originally our dining room. Then we turned it into a family study, which didn't, in theory, it worked brilliantly, but in reality, it didn't. Then it was a boon during lockdown because it kind of became the classroom for Wilf. Uh, during the first lockdown because we had what did we have it wasn't that long people say oh we've had six months of homeschooling but we didn't really because we went into lockdown the 23rd of March so we had April May June and July so that's only four months and then in that you've got to take out the Easter holiday which is a couple of weeks and the May holiday which is a week so it was like three and a half months of homeschooling, but I guess us Brits like to exaggerate. I know I do. Anyway, this room became the classroom and it then became a place that we didn't really want to spend time in. So we, um, we've got a bit of a bottom heavy house. We've got lots of sitting rooms. Um, so we thought because Toby's working from home a lot more, we would turn the snug into his study. And then this room here, I've still got to put pictures in there. This room here, we have painted it a really dark colour. I'll do a tour in a bit. And rejig the furniture. And now this is our snug, except we're not calling it the snug, we're calling it the pub because it's... You're, you're in, um, in, in agreement that the pub is a good name, aren't you, Margs? Yeah, we're just we're calling it the pub. <laughs> just a bit of a joke because it's quite a dark room. This room, no matter what colour we painted it, was always really dingy. So um, we thought we'd just go with it. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the tour of this room as a separate video. So I won't talk much more about it now. And in it, I'll, I'll, um, I'll do a little bit of a chat about, because everything in this room is either, I've had it since, well, first piece of furniture I ever bought when I was about 20. 19 and then everything else is there's a memory attached to it or it's Ikea one or the other right I'm about to cast on some socks as a present um I've knitted quite a bit that I've given away and I won't be able to show you um socks for my father-in-law and socks for Pete who gave me the swing like I'm all these things are coming into my head of things that I want to tell you about um I'm sure I'll tell you at some point about when I gave the socks to Pete he was chuffed with them bless him oh such a dear man and I'm chuffed with the swing so we're all winners aren't we anyway I'm gonna cast on these socks this yarn is something I got from Emma Aldenwood She's not Aldenwood Crafts, is she? Aldenwood Studio. What is it? Gosh. She feels like she's famous to me, so I feel like you'd all know who I mean. Anyway, it's this. Hot Socks Cuba. Um, Sockenvoller. Six. Vach. Vach. I can't remember six in German, I think it's sex. Oh, Frauke, help me out. Um, and it's in colour number five. Yeah, I've got it in Emma's D-stash. Right. 
oh, I'm like a pig in poo sat here. I'm just going to pan round so you can see my view, but excuse my dirty windows. I just love it so much. I've got a coffee. Got my iPad. I'm about to watch Ali, Little Drops of Wonderful. Um, she's about to release her crochet mitt pattern, the Heath Mix. Filthy window. And there's my sewing room. Bit untidy, but I love it. Oh, and look. I got a wooden swift. I was so lucky. It was my birthday last month. And lovely Anne, out of the blue, surprised me with some money in my PayPal account and a happy birthday wish. And I thought, I know exactly what I'm spending that on. And we got that. And I'm thrilled to bits with it. I've um, emailed and thanked Anne and we've had a little bit of an exchange, but I just want to publicly thank her. Thank you. I'm going to drink my coffee and then I've got a day ahead of me of all the usual post weekend chores. We've got, we went away this weekend to Kent to spend some time with Granny and Papa and Toby's sister Claire. Oh, it was so lovely. Um, so today is washing, ironing, and I have got oodles and poodles of gardening to do. Um, what's the matter with your ears? You sunbathing? Bunny and I have come out for a walk. We're in the bluebell woods and um, the bluebells are all gone, which means there's nobody here. Just me, the trees and Bernie. It's so nice. So nice. It's not my woodland, obviously, but it just feels like it's mine. So I'm glad that everybody else has cleared off. Ooh, ah, ah. Right. When I get back, I'll do a little vid of um, what's going on in the garden. Trying to creep up on that butterfly. Can't even see it now, he's so well camouflaged. I think these are called red admirals. Oh! There he is. Doing you maniac? What are you doing? <laughs> Look how high she jumps. <laughs> Hang on. She's too hot to be jumping around like that. Right, it's now oh, I don't know, half past six. It's really warm, it's lovely, except I don't like hot weather. don't hate. I'm trying to reframe it because I just get miserable in the summer because I don't like getting hot and sweaty and today I have gardened my socks off and I am, ugh, I am sticky and I smell of onions. Marco. She was twirling. Right, I'm going to take you around the garden I'm just going to show you the good bits well I'm going to show you all of it but that would take a while so I'm going to hone in on the good bits this is the kitchen garden the kitchen it's not the kitchen garden as in growing vegetables it's the garden that I look out of when I'm look out on when I'm in the kitchen and um, it's north facing, if that's of interest. Most of my plants out here have got a fungal disease. So I've been trying to counteract that. And look, we've got new growth and it's going to be okay. Look at these. This is Clematis Tranquility. I should 
should have waited to um, do this video when the sun goes down. But look how many birds I've got on it. So lovely. I have potted up a couple of my zinc planters with these gorgeous things. But these have gone brighter than they were supposed to be. They were supposed to be really pale pink. So they're slightly terrifying. The campanula is going great guns. The lavender is about to burst into flower. The creeping thyme is full of flower and there's bees all over it. And this is the noisy part of the garden because um, it's right by the road and we are a cut through between two villages. There's another zinc plant I've potted up. Look how mad my sage has gone. I'm gonna have to do something with that because it's ridiculous. And my Queen of Sweden is huge. It's seven foot tall. And it is my pride and joy, I gotta tell you. Oh, it's divine. It's got so many flowers on it and so many buds. And then up here, this is a rose. We used to have a rose garden. Oh, look at that aphid. So I'll have to get me fairy lick squib out on that. Um, we used to have a rose garden that, is, that was so old it had gone all funny. And um, I've told you all this before. I'm repeating myself. And we turned it into the vegetable patch area, but I took loads of cuttings of my favourite roses. Oh, hi, Mr B. And um, I don't know what this rose is, but we call it Bob's Rose. Look, I've got loads of it. Thrilled, I love it. The rose and the vine over the pergola are, are doing well. And the maple trees. And the hostas and the ferns are lovely and I need to repaint my beehive. Okay, from here, this is the entrance into the veggie area. Oh look, there's my luminous coat. I've got so many plans to frame this view because it's just, it's so pretty. That'll come later, I'll show you when I do it. it. It involves an arbor and a picket fence. This is my veggie patch. Just looks like a load of twigs, really. The rabbits ate all of my climbing French beans, so I had to re sow them, so I'm behind with those. Then the pigeons attacked my runner beans, and also we had crazy wind. I'll put a video in here, it was insane. And that burnt all my runner beans, so I think my runner beans are a fail. But my onions are all right. And in there are carrots. And my wizard field beans are doing okay. And I've got a second sowing there. My purple monge too are doing okay. I don't want to talk about my fruit cage. I just, I'm, I'm still cross. So I'll talk about that when I'm not when I'm not so cross. Um, I've just got things planted here. Look, I've got little. Oh, these are my first flowers on my chamomile. It looks a bit yellowy actually. That, and I've got some thyme here. And this cable is the um, electric hookup for when we used to have an airstream. We used to have an airstream, and we used to keep it in the paddock. But now we just, we have our um, bell tent. And also Nick the Vic's gonna come and camp in the summer, so that'll be fun. He'll need an electric hookup. These are my raspberries. These dead sticks are my bloody raspberries. I am so fed up. The rabbits got in there and they ate the lot. So I've now sowed some strawberry sweet corn. I'm hoping for the best. some blueberries coming on my blueberry bush. It was really difficult to get 
early, middle and late blueberries, but I've managed to find three. See how they do. I don't have acid lovings. I don't have acid soil and these are acid loving. So I, um, I've got them in pots, but they need to go in bigger pots really. And then I've got some veggies in there. I've got some more sweet corn over there. This is my little nursery area. So tomorrow, before I take Bill to the dental hospital, I need to put a whole load of these in the big border, which I'll show you in a mo. These are my potatoes. That's my willow screen. I've got a plan to, I've, I've started growing, oh, it looks terrible. It's, it's nicer in real life. I've started growing some sunflowers. They're gonna go in there. It's my compost bins. Um, this is my pumpkin and courgette patch. Oh, why does everything look so rubbish in the camera? And so much nicer in real life. I'm totally nursing obsessively this one because Pete gave it to me. Pete gave me my swing. This is the swing that Pete gave me. I've told you the story before where I'd had my eye on it. I said to Pete, if you're not doing anything with that swing, because it was basically just getting overgrown and rotting, I said, uh, would you consider selling it to me? And he said, girl, if you can get it, you can have it. So I got it. And I've got these old trellises that were from my chicken coop when I had chickens. I'd like to get chickens again. I'm looking at getting a chicken tractor. Um, and I've, I've got things here that are going to, hi there. I've got things here that are gonna grow up the trellis. This is my new border that we've made. That was our new cherry tree. And I've grown all sorts of things from seed and I've separated things and I've bought things. And these are Granny's cornflowers um, and sweet peas to fill up this space. But, well, you can see there's a lot of, that was a cutting I took, but that rose just flopped on the floor. Um, you can see I need, I need to fill it up. <laughs> I'm hoping some of the annuals, oh, it's windy. I'm hoping some of the annuals that I've grown from seed will go in here and fill it all up. But it's um, a bit bare at the moment. It's a lovely day. Look at those pheasants in the field there. They were in my paddock earlier on. I might throw them myself, or you go get my gun, or you shoot it, or you eat them. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I used to go clay pigeon shooting, but it made my shoulders ache, so I gave it up and sold my gun. I just want to sit on my swing all day long and sulk about my stupid fruit cage. <laughs> I wish I didn't hate being hot because I think summer would be my favourite season. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm attached. I'm trying to be arty-farty, but I can't be bothered to move things, so there's a big old plastic <laughs> watering can. This rose is called Paul's Himalayan Musk, and it's beautiful. It flowers freely and it goes from pink through to white and it's just so lovely but oh doesn't it ever suffer with powdery mildew you have to really look after it and it's a bit of a nuisance really but it is worth it look at that we had lovely Bob here the other day and he's painted the door he's gonna come back and paint the front of the house he says um, I think I've said he says um, I don't come out of Bristol for many people and I don't go up ladders for many people but I'll do it for you Gaynor Gaynor <laughs> so he calls me Gaynor 
My Gertrude Jekyll is doing, or Jackal, Jackal, whatever, is doing brilliantly. So I've decided I need to get two more to go in this bed because all the flipping rabbits have eaten everything that I sewed to go in there. Um, so I'm going to have all of that bed filled with Gertrude Jekyll and probably that one too because it will flower for months. That will still be flowering in September. I'm a bit worried about my olive trees because I think that they've either got rotten roots or they've got a fungal disease. So I'm not very happy about that because although they were a billy bargain off the back of a lorry, <laughs> there was a chap going around that used to do all of the shows like the big Bath and West show and um, North Somerset show. And um, because during lockdown they weren't going on, he just threw everything in the back of his van and just drove around knocking on doors. So we bought them from him. They are really lovely. And I'm so hoping that they won't die. And then I've got the geraniums, my little iron, I don't know what it's made of. I need to paint it. I got that from Lou, my mate, Little Red Robin. Gosh, we've been friends about 10 years now. Uh, yeah, it must be. Got that there, but I'm moving it to that wall there. This is the bit that's not looking so good. That I've got plants to go in there, but I've only got 10 and I've got 15 pots. So I'll deal with that at some point. Um, these are looking all right. <laughs> Boy detritus over there. And this border is beautiful. It's been better in previous years, but um, it's just in that little dip in June. I think I need some lupins in there. Something to, some spirey type things. Because the lavender's not out just yet. Look these pots, have got lavender everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Look at it, that's lavender. And it's hilarious because, um, We're going to strip the windows and get rid of the um when we had it painted a few years ago they used the wrong product and and all the oak went orange so we're going to pull that off soon just let the oak go silvery these these were just a little clump that my mum gave me and i've just divided them and divided them and divided them and they're going over now but look how many i've got mad plants just want to breed don't they Look at that. Look at that. Bees all over this. My snowball bush has gone over. It looks a bit tatty now. Look at that. Look. Look at him. Hello. Fungal <coughs> poo. Thought he was coming at me then. These are from Lou, Little Red Robin, and the spheres over there, Lou and Russ. She's lush. He's lush. Love them. I'm going to pull out, there's three Alcamilla Mollis there, and they all self-seeded, and I'm pulling out the middle one. To put something else in there, because it's just too green. Look at this. I have dug this poppy up about five times and given it to people who love red poppies. And still <laughs> it lives on. And it doesn't go with my colour scheme. But I'm not going to kill it. I'll just dig it up again. I hate gardening, it's hard work, and I don't really enjoy it, but standing here right now, I'm feeling very satisfied. That 
geranium there is the size of three dustbin lids. It's ridiculous. That Alcamilla mollus is ridiculous. <laughs> that Delphinium is seven foot tall. The Batiste is in completely the wrong place, but it's so beautiful. And my teeny tiny hydrangea is pathetic. Been there years, it's not happy. I need to move it. I moved my peonies about two years ago and last year they were a bit poo. And this year, they are the tallest they have ever been. They are up, they're higher than my chest, they're almost to shoulder high. Unbelievable. This is a gorgeous rose. This is a St. Swithin. I thought it was a climber, but it doesn't really behave like a climber. I wanted it to climb over that, over that gate there. I'm wondering if I bought the wrong thing. And then this is Flomis that my friend Anna gave me, which is the most crazy plant. And although it's going to have yellow flowers, they're quite creamy yellow. And there we go. We're back round, back around here. And some of you from last year might be thinking, what's happened to your victory garden, Gaynor? What have you done with that? Well, I've admitted defeat. There it is. What I've done is I've reclaimed land around by my other vegetable patch and um, we've just sown seeds, grass seeds on this. Except there were a few potatoes growing in here. They seem to have gone though. Yeah, this blinking garden gave me tennis elbow much better now right i think that's enough of garden and next time you see me it'll be about my knitting <laughs>